Hello! In this video I'm going to be doing a 80s soap opera um, eye look. I recently started watching this Spanish soap opera or telenovela um, on the Tubi TV app and it's from 1986 and it's called La Intrusa which is the outsider and they've been made many different other variations through the years of the same one um, but I'm just gonna focus on the 80s one I was captivated when I started randomly watching it I was just captivated by the gorgeous eye looks of the main character the gorgeous bold beautiful eyeshadow looks and so I I'm going to attempt to do that because she looked so gorgeous in that soap opera. So, I'm going to be, some of the products I'm going to be using today are products that I haven't used in a while. And some are completely new, never used before, straight out of the package um, products. So, I'm going to, and I'm going to be doing a full face which I haven't done in quite some time. Um, ignore the cats. I haven't done a full face makeup in quite a while, but this look requires a full face. So um, I'm going to be mixing these two foundations, which I realized is um, works better when I do that. <sighs> These cats. Um... For a while I would just use this one, the Matte Poreless. This is in 102. And it really doesn't cover very well at all, but I have used a couple times this Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Dewy. In Shell Ivory. I've mixed them together before and I think I got a better outcome, so we'll try that. Um, so we'll start. Okay, and then I have the same old sponge, but I do have some more that I got at Party City for Halloween. <laughs> you can never go wrong with more sponges. They're cheap, and it's always good to use a clean one after a while, especially since I don't wash them. <laughs> so I'm going to mix. This is the... Look, my nails, they're never painted. So here we go. Um, this is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. A little of that. And then a little of the Wet n Wild, which, by the way, I got it five below. Uh... I always forgot. I could, when I first opened this, I could not figure out how to use it. I'm so silly. I kind of appreciate it. It's a little wand. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll just do that. Mix that together using my already dirty one, I guess. So... I actually grew up watching American soap operas and Spanish telenovelas. Um, my mom is from El Salvador, so I grew up watching both. Um, and I would watch both the American soap operas and the Spanish ones from the 80s and 90s. Um, as for the American ones, of course, there was All My Children, all the ones that are still on today, General Hospital. I was going to be named Erica after... The character Erica Kane and I believe that was from 
All my children, I believe, right? But I wasn't. <laughs> um, but as for the... But I loved in the 80s, I would watch Another World, um, some of um, uh, Santa Barbara. I love that one because it had Tawny Tane, and I love her, always loved her and her career, and I followed her career, and I just absolutely loved her because being a redhead myself, it was always really influential to see her and... I knew that I wasn't alone, you could be a redhead, and you could be sexy, and even though in school, in class, I was the only redhead, and, you know, you get made fun of, or whatever, but it's actually, you know, it was always really influential to see her, um, so, anywho, um, what else? just gonna go back and just use this wet and wild one and just see what that does on its own so this does an obvious difference so I really want to make sure that I cover it because I think this is better than the other one. And then of course you get the neck and everything. I think This covers, sorry, <laughs> I'm so silly, a little better, not really, it's definitely lighter, but that doesn't necessarily mean better coverage. But so, it's better, it's lighter, but anyway. But I do love both because it's really, both of them are really lightweight. And I can't feel it, so I do like that, but it still doesn't cover like I would like it to. Anyway, moving on. So I have three, four. I've used this shadow a lot, so I think you guys are probably sick of it. So I'm going to show you the other two shadows that I chose. So it's the Expert Glam. These are really pretty colors. This is the one with that blue as well. Mm. And then I got the Glitter Bomb Bleat BC. I think I'm going to go with this. Because I want that color. Okay. I'm going to do... I forgot my eye. I guess I can use this for eyebrows. I lost my eyebrow pencil from when I came back from out of state earlier this last month. Um... So, oh well, I'll find it. Okay, and then for eyeliner, which we're going to start doing now, I guess. This is just the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Liner in Pretty in Mink.
She had pretty strong black eyeliner. But we're just going to go with that. Okay. Pretty good. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with a base color. And I'm, so I'm going to do... I think I should do my brows. But I feel like I'm going to get my pencil. Um, base color is going to be this... A combination of this one and this lighter color. Um, this is an all over. What else? Oh, I just, oh, what else? So as for the Spanish soap operas, I'd have to look them up. I know them by face of the actors, but not the names. Um, well, the one that I know the best and probably the most popular to date would be the one in late 80s called Marimar. And that's with the actress, she's Mexican, I think, Talia, Dahlia, you know, you know. Um, and so we watch that, and then we watch the ones in the early 90s. I mean, we would just watch all of them, almost all of them. And I just loved the watching for the outfits and the beautiful makeup and the scenery. The places, all these places that they would film all around South and Central America, the gorgeous scenery of the beaches, and so, wow, so many. What else? I'm going to get my other phone and look, because like I said, I don't remember them all. Um, down below, you put what your favorite American or Spanish soap opera is, or if you're still watching them. Um, I'm going to get my other phone, and I... I think I could be okay with this pencil for my eyes. In this case, I think I will, but <laughs> I'm going to get my other phone anyway. Um, hold on. Okay, I decided to just grab my uh, liner, or rather my eyeshadow pencil, just because it makes it easier. Um, and then I want to share with you the names of the... 80, I feel like I should have brushed it first. The 80s, rather 90s, early 90s. I feel like I do better with this one. Maybe it's just... Use the side of the pencil and not the there we go not the uh, tip because you don't want to be too thin at all there we go okay hold on um so there's one called dos mujeres um, what else? Ah, jeez. La Usarpadora. Um, Vivo por Elena. Uh, jeez. What else? I mean, there are so many. Um, so many. If you know, you know. But anyway. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah. I can brush them. Ooh, I'll brush it up using this. There you go. And then I'll kind of mix the color together. Um, so, yeah. 
And in the 90s, well, I guess early 2000s, of course, there was passions and stuff. But, I mean, I'm really focusing, obviously, on more 80s look. Okay. So I did my base colors, but I want to put a little more of just the white. But I think it'll show up better when I put the darker shades. Okay. So for the base color... Or rather the, ooh, okay. So I'm going to put peony with the lid color. Which is a super, super soft pink, as you can see. Um, I'm going to add this bombshell, which is a little cranberry kind of shade. This is darker, and I'm not sure how it'll come out. So I always tap it in that case. I see that this is not coming out that great. So I'll just go ahead and rub it in. Okay. <sighs> she had like black here, so I'm gonna try and do. I don't have black. Do I have black anywhere in my? I'm gonna use all of these. Ooh, I have darker here. I have some gray. Dark. I'll clean it up later. I'm just focusing on trying to get this color. There we go. So we're going to switch to another palette. This is the Expert Glam, and I'm using Passion, that plum shade. Excuse the mess. There we go. And then I'll I can use this really light eye shadow, which I think is the shade that I used as my um Uh, base color. And I think it might be smart for me to go back into my foundation. I know I say I'll clean it later, but I just can't help it. It looks, I can't help it. Just do it right away. Okay. And then I'm 
You know, the fallout is really kind of ridiculous with one of them. Okay, so it was a very light purple on the inside. So I can just go ahead. How would grab a different brush? This one look. There we go. And actually, let me try, oh, I'm getting all my brushes out, this peach, with this pink, oh, jeez, oh, that's better, oh, better, oh my gosh, I'm ruining, okay. So that pink and peach in the inner corner here with the super fluffy one. There we go. Now we can go back. I'm gonna look in the mirror because I can't help but think this is just it's not messy. <laughs> I think it's just the lighting, it looks really bad. Okay, so I just opened this mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Big Papa, which is probably my third favorite. Maybe even like second favorite, no joke. Um, this is the true dupe, in my opinion, of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Everyone says, or I guess they made it out to seem like the L'Oreal, what is the other one, that pink one, was the dupe for it, the, um, the L'Oreal Paradise, no, it's not, I even had a Target employee saying, no, it's really not, um, this one is, and it's way cheaper, Wet <laughs> n Wild Big Papa. And you're gonna see never opened never opened because I've been using the purple mascara all the time the L'Oreal voluminous purple one back when I could afford a Sephora a little more often see look at that I would get the Too Faced one, but I believe that this one is the true affordable dupe for it. And I'm pretty sure you, I mean, look at that. Um, the majority of makeup that I use is drugstore. Look at that. Look at that. Me? I've, oh my gosh. I haven't used this in so long. I forgot how much I love it. I mean, I truly believe it is 
excellent affordable um, substitute. I do have a blush. I forgot my blush, but I know that I can use um, the peach and pink in my eyeshadow. That lady's blush was out of control, but <laughs> this is going to work for now. I just kind of put it all over too. Um, okay, so let me look in the mirror. I will get up at the end and do better lighting to show you, but I think this is pretty good. Um, lips. I brought a couple different lip products out. I brought a Laura Mercier. I brought a Wet n Wild Red. And I brought this Sassy Mauve, which is one that I've been using all the time. I love so much. So I think I'm going to use the Sassy Mauve with the red. I'm going to put the red first. It's a little more orangey than red, I think, maybe, but... And then to lighten it up a little bit is the Sassy Mauve one. I'm going to change my, where I'm sitting so I can show you, but the eyeliner was a little darker. I could go over it again. Then again, this is not a black. What I could also do, which would be fun, is use this. Where'd you go? La my liner brush, the one that I use for my brows. Put a little, a dark shade, any dark shade or brown or whatever. And... I don't rub it, but I'm just tapping every other one. There we go. I think brows are fine. Okay, I'm going to show you in different lighting, but this is pretty much the look um, that I just love so much. Okay, so I'm going to get up and show you in better lighting. So I ended up just taking a few pictures that I'm inserting now um, because it's really hard to get good lighting right now. I don't know why. So I had to walk around and try and get some good lighting and pictures. Um, so... Yeah, now all of a sudden it looks nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to try my hand at doing a gorgeous 80s um, soap opera look. Um, like I said, down below, let me know what your favorite ones were to watch. And if you're still watching, what you still like to watch today. So I will let you guys go. I have a couple videos planned. As always, let me know. Um, in the comments or wherever. If you have any video ideas that you'd like me to do, I will try my best. Um, and I have a couple ideas, so I'm going to start. I was not planning on doing a video today. I was going to actually do this video tomorrow, but I was able to get some time all of a sudden, so I decided to take advantage. So that's always great. 
Um, to those of you who are recently subscribed, I have noticed some subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. It means so much. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.